Hi everyone, Katie here from Clark's Condensed. Today I have a really fun tutorial. I'm doing this with a Create with Cricut challenge that I do um, with some of my blogger friends. And this month's mystery challenge um, uses the material um, of cereal boxes, which I think is fun because I know a lot of people like to do upcycle crafts and we all, well probably most of us, have um, a lot of cereal boxes that we go through. So for this um, challenge I decided to do a jigsaw puzzle. Um, it turned out really fun. It did take me a while to get the settings correct because I did print and cut and I put the sticker, the printable vinyl or printable sticker onto the um, cereal box and it took me a little bit to figure out the intricacies of that, but it turned out really fun. I do want to point out that you can use other materials. If you want to use a poster board or cardstock or something like that, you can and then you can just do the print, print and cut and not paste it onto anything. But I think that the um, cereal box really makes for a sturdier background and it turned out really fun. Um, I also am going to provide you with a bunch of different design space templates that have already been created for different holidays. So you can go to ClarksCondensed.com, just, just um, search for Cricut Puzzle and you'll be able to find all of those designs. But today I'm going to show you how you can make your own in design space, your own template and how to cut it. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm in design space right now. I've already made a couple of different puzzles, but I'm gonna put those down here so I can show you how to make your own. First of all, go into images and search for puzzle. As you can see, there's different puzzle pieces. Um, you can use different ones. If it's for a smaller child, you want to, might wanna use the bigger pieces. Um, there's just different varieties, but I use this one. Um, it is 99 cents, but it works great. It's from J Good Designs, which is my friend Jen Good. Her website is 100 Directions, and she is amazing with Cricut. You should definitely check her out. Um, but you can search for it. So it's M68E363, or just search puzzle. So you're going to click on that one and press Insert. And it took me a little while to figure out how to make it so I could put this over the image to have it cut. Um, I eventually realized that all I have to do is, was come over here and turn off the white background on it. So that makes it really simple. You don't have to recreate the puzzle pieces at all. Um, so it's really nice. So I look at this. It, the dimensions up here are 5.015 plus times and um, 5.012. So first I start with a square and I make it the same dimension. So you want to unlock the button up here. So it's 5.015, 5.015, and then by 5.012, 5.012. And you can make this a solid background or whatever, but I like, I like to have color. So I just come over here and I just change it to whatever color. So let's say we're going to do a Christmassy one. So we'll have a green background. And then you'll just come in and you can put whatever images you want. As you see down here, I uploaded a picture of my family. And you can definitely do that. Just upload a photo and make sure it's square. Um, and then you'll just resize it to be the correct dimensions. But here, I'm just going to go in here and find Christmas. So let's just search for Christmas. Let's see. So here's a fun Merry Christmas. Here's some... Just find whatever you want, you know, there's a Christmas tree, um, ornament, etc. So you can just put whatever you want and then you just bring it over here and resize it to fit within the image. So, you know, do whatever you want. Um, this is really up to you. Um, and then once you have all of that, you're going to want to um, select all and then compress the flatten button and that'll make it so you can print it and then simply um, click on this and press move to front and you can place it over your template and then you just select all press attach and you're good to go so um, you do need to make it um, less than 6.25 inches across. I made it smaller because my cereal, cereal boxes were about this size. Um, but it works really fun. Um, it, I mean, it's a really fun project and you can really just do all sorts of things. My son had fun putting these together and I actually found them somewhat challenging to put together myself. 
Um, so that's just how you'll make the puzzle yourself. Again, you can upload your own images or use images from Cricut Design Space, but I do recommend having a solid background as your base. Um, so once you're ready, now you're just gonna press make it and you'll see that it sorts it. So let's click on this one over here. This is the first one I'm gonna print and I used, um, for this project, since I'm using um, the cereal box, I used the Cricut printable vinyl. I tried to use the sticker paper, but it didn't print right in my printer. So I went with the vinyl and it worked great. So I'm using Cricut vinyl, but or printable vinyl, but you can use sticker paper if you want. I did get sticker paper, but for some reason it kept bending in my printer. But you just put that in, so usually with the grid side up. So load that into your printer. And then come back to Design Space and press, um, after you've gotten to the print and cut place, um, you'll press print so it goes directly to your printer, the image. So it's finished printing. As you see, it doesn't print out the grid lines, which is nice. Um, I'm just going to cut um, probably like an inch around and then I'm going to put the sticker directly onto my piece of cardboard that I cut out. So I put the sticker on. I do recommend putting it on like the colorful side of the cereal box just because um, you want that the bottom of the puzzle to be plain because it can get kind of confusing if both sides have pictures. But just make sure that's on there nice and um, nice and well. Or, just because if you if it's not sometimes the machine when you're cutting will start to pull it up so just make sure it's on there really well just push it down with your hands um now we're gonna times. go ahead and cut it so i use the purple mat that's the best i think for cardboard or for a um, cereal box um so put it on your purple one and um now we'll go over and i'll show you the settings that i use to cut it does have a cardboard or cereal box setting I found that I did have to go in and change it to, or change that setting to, um, I keep saying cardboard, but that's not what it is, cereal, cereal box, and I changed it to the three times with the deep point blade. So just go in there and change it. You can test things, but I did find that this worked the best. Um, so then we'll come over here and select again, click on view all and select cereal box and click done. And now we'll go ahead and load this into the machine. And then we'll start cutting. Um, it does take a little while, and just watch it to make sure it doesn't start pulling up the sticker paper like I said it does sometimes. And now it's done cutting, and it looks like it went all the way through, which is always nice. Um, like I said earlier, you can use a different material, like a nice sturdy poster board or cardstock, and that will eliminate the use for the sticker. But I do think that the, the cereal box is a nice way to do some upcycling, and it's pretty sturdy. So I, I love how it turned out. This is the second puzzle I made. Um, as you can see, it pops out pretty easily there. Sometimes you do have to be careful just not to like rip it apart or whatever because some of the, there's some pieces that are still hanging on there. But for the most part, this is a real fun craft. You know, the possibilities are endless. So I'd love to see what you make. Be sure to tag me on Instagram or in our Facebook group if you make anything.